So hello everyone. Welcome to Masi Care Clinics, another session on Ask Me Anything on Breastfeeding, your baby. So myself, Dr. Tanema Singhal, and I welcome you all again for this insightful session on uh, any questions you can ask me related to breastfeeding. So first, I'll start the questions which have been already asked by mothers on uh, our Google Sheets. And you because you people fill the form and you ask your questions. So first, I'll take those questions and then I'll take the live questions which will be coming in the chat box. Okay. So let me start uh, by the questions which have come till now. So the first question is from Bhavna. She asks, while breastfeeding, my baby is crying, although my breast having milk. Why like so? So we have to first understand that if your baby is breastfeeding uh, but crying and you feel that the milk, that milk is there in your breast, then first of all, see if the child is having any other issue. Is the baby, uh, maybe the baby is very hungry and the baby is very cranky and uh, you have missed that, uh, the hunger cues. So here first you have to understand about the hunger cues. The first sign which you will see that the baby become little restless and start looking here and there, start moving the hands and legs. So you will understand the baby is little hungry now and these are called as early hunger cues. Second are when the baby becomes little more active and anything touched near the baby's cheek, the baby will move the mouth there. So these are the, the mid hunger cues. The late hunger cues, that is the crying. So what you will see that during the crying, the baby has become very hungry. So you can just press the press and you will see that the milk is coming, but my child is crying. Why is the baby not breastfeeding? Reason being that the baby becomes very hungry, the baby becomes very cranky. So always what you have to do, you have to first try to calm your baby in that scenario. When the baby is crying and not coming on the breast. So first uh, try to just calm the baby and then take the baby slowly to the breast. And don't worry about it. If you also become so uh, like uh, worried at that time, how will it happen? Both of you are worrying at that time. The child is also crying. You are also in panic. So that will not, not help. So first you have to understand about the late hunger cues. And if you, the baby has started crying, because most of the times it happens, the baby gets up crying. And suddenly the baby starts crying like uh, badly that baby needs, uh, baby needs milk. And we as mothers really get panicked. What to do? What to do? We just put them on the breast and they're not coming. And we are like, what to do? The baby's not drinking. The baby's crying and everybody from the family. What happened? What happened? I understand. I totally understand that. But you have to keep calm. Relax, relax, relax. Just stay, hold the baby. And whoever is coming to your room and asking what happened, what happened, just tell them. Wait, I'll handle it. I'll handle it. First, make the baby calm and then slowly take the baby to them. And you can talk to your child also. It's okay. I missed your part. That's okay. It's okay. Just talk to your baby. So that way, both of you will be calm and your child will be also calm baby. So this way you've tried. Second thing, the baby is very hungry at that time. The baby doesn't have the time to uh, wait on the breast and let the letdown happen. So at that time, just do a little massage on the breast and little hand express the milk and let the milk come down first. When you take the baby on the breast and the baby starts moving the mouth and you will see that the milk starts flowing in the baby's mouth, the baby will become calm. Third thing, don't try to push the breast in the baby's mouth. It is something like somebody stuffing food in your mouth. So don't do that. When you see that the baby is crying a lot, first calm the baby, put the baby in the position and let the baby come on the breast. So this is called as baby led feeding. You would have heard a lot about BLW like baby led uh, weaning and all that. And here it is about baby led breastfeeding also. So always remember, let the child come on the breast. So all these tips uh, just follow Bhavna and it will happen that you will be able to confidently breastfeed your child. Next question is from Sangeeta, low milk supply. So I will definitely cover this low milk supply because this question keeps coming in on every session. And I try to give a detailed answer because this is most uh, commonly asked question from the mothers. So now low milk supply. First of all, everybody, all of you should understand when we talk about low milk supply, why does it happen? See, mother nature will never go wrong. There is always abundant milk supply when your child is born. But for any reason, if your child is separated or if you are not knowing about the uh, demand and supply, then this happens that there is uh, when there is less demand for the brain, the brain takes it as an extra milk and it starts dipping the milk supply. And that's you have to reverse the process. 
So for reversing the process, you have to improve the demand. Now, if your baby is coming on the breast at least few times, two times, three times or one time also. Now that means your child knows how to feed. You know how to feed. Then in that case, for every feeding session, try to put the baby on the breast without thinking that I don't have enough milk. Just put the baby on the breast. If the baby becomes too cranky, doesn't come on the breast, then you can uh, try for pumping. But always remember, pumping here is not the only motive right now. It is basically to create the demand for the brain. And you keep trying to put the baby on the breast. And for this, you can watch my latest, uh, one of my mother who has been recently successful in her breastfeeding journey. Initially, she started only with the pump and slowly her, she uh, like moved towards the exclusive breastfeeding directly. And that's what we have discussed it very deeply on how she was able to bring her baby from the bottle to breast. You can find it on my YouTube channel. So I have a mom star series of all the successful mothers. You will see the case studies there. So on my YouTube channel, just you, you will type Dr. Tanema single on YouTube. You will get my channel. And there on the Momstar series, the successful stories you can see. So Parul is her name and you can see her success story. How she brought her baby from exclusive bottle feeding towards exclusive directly breastfeeding. So just patience is the key. Keep moving with direct uh, like demand and supply. So, so this is one point when we talk about improving the milk supply. Second point is by your hydration. So what are the raw materials we require to improve the milk supply? I know everybody has got good milk, like uh, good raw materials, I mean uh, nutrition, but few things here and there. So first thing about water intake, good hydration, because water is needed for our body also. Now, if we have to make milk, we need to have little more water so that that water can be utilized to make the milk. Now, if you drink less water, that water will be utilized by your own body. So milk will be there. It is not like milk will not be made. But either you will feel dehydrated, you will feel too thirsty or the milk will be there but it will be little lower side. So have good hydration. Second thing is about the flow. Uh, babies prefer bottles because that is easy for them. They drink properly, they get good amount and it is human psychology. Everybody likes to have uh, ease, ease of work. So you don't have to work hard. The baby gets milk easily, the baby drinks it out and that's all. The baby doesn't have to make efforts. And as human psychology, that is easy. So there is nothing at fault at the baby. So we have to work on improving the milk flow. So how you can improve the flow? By doing oil massage on the breast and by doing warm compresses. So that will help to dilate the vessels and the milk flow will become good. So uh, second thing when we talked about flow. Third thing is about any kind of galactogogs. So uh, most of the mothers, they follow home remedies. Now for home remedies, I am not against the home remedies, but there is no proper proportion of the things which we put in the home remedies. Somebody will tell you to have jeera water, a joint water, garlic, what all things people tell you. And, but there is no proper dosage of it. Now, how is it clear that one raw home remedy will be working for every mother? I have heard from mothers, they have tried so many things and nothing is working for them. So what is the best part there that if you have a proper system like where you have know the galactogogs which will help to improve your milk supply. So galactogogs are the foods which were which we use to improve the milk supply. So what I have seen them if I go for uh, like market preparations most of the market preparations they have preservatives added into that. So today all of you who are watching this just see any galactogog which you are using does it does it have preservatives added into that. And you will see most of the common brands, they have preservatives added into that. And the most notorious one, methyl parabens. Now, most of you would have heard about paraben-free shampoos. So now these days, we don't have, don't take paraben-free shampoos also for local application. And here is something which we are taking inside in our body. So we have to always find the alternatives which are available and uh, like which don't have any preservatives. So for me, which I recommend to my patients is Lactomagic Powder and Morico Tablets. These two things are 100% natural with no preservatives added into that. And it has around 30 to 35 natural ingredients in correct proportion, which will not only help to improve milk supply, but it will also help to recover your body from the postpartum changes. So that is one part, the Galactogog. Next thing is about, about skin to skin contact. Now, when your baby has come on the bottle or on uh, spoon feeding or palada feeding, now, baby is independently taking. Anybody in the family can feed the baby. But the skin-to-skin -skin contact, that is very important. When you put the child skin-to-skin -skin with you, the baby gets more affectionate to the mother. 
the mother feels so good to hold the baby close to her and that is one bond which you make with your child and the baby also becomes like more secure the baby feels more secure so that is one way you can get your baby back to the breast. So you have to just put skin to skin with the baby. Even when you're burping the child, just open your chest, keep the baby skin to skin with you. When you have even feeding with the bottle, if suppose your baby has got habitual with the bottles, just hold the baby close. Give the bottle, holding your baby close to you. So that way your baby will become more bonded with you. And last but not the least, how you will know that the milk supply is improving? How will you know that the baby is getting enough milk or not? by seeing the weight gain. So weight gain, up to three months, your baby should gain around 200 grams per week. From three to around four, four and a half months, nearly baby should gain around 150 to 100 grams per week. From five months onwards, up to six months, because after six months, solids are added. So that time, 100 grams per week is fine. So this way, when you are seeing the weight gain every week, you will be knowing what should be the weight gain of my child this week. And if your baby has gained more than the weight, which the baby required. So you will understand, okay, my milk supply is improving. My child is not having rice and wheat and anything else. My baby is drinking only milk, either my milk or the any other milk. So if my baby is gaining more than the weight which is required, that time you can start slowly reducing the formula milk or any other milk. Uh, suppose if you are giving that way. So that way, you, although it is not recommended to give anything else, but suppose if you are giving, then you can start reducing it. So this way you will know what you are progressing into, what you are like moving into. And that's where the come there comes the role of expert guidance. So I advise you that you can follow all the tips which I am giving. But if you need like to know what exactly to do, how much to reduce formula, how to know that my uh, that my milk supply is improving then you can reach out to the my team. So I have got three more doctors in my team and they are all working very hard for, to give a lot of, because we are getting a lot of mothers every day. And that's why I started taking these Q&A sessions so that I can reach more and more mothers with the correct knowledge and correct guidance. So if you are having like confusions on how to do, how to plan this all things, how to know if it is, if it is working for me, what doses should I take? How much milk should I give? all these sick questions, then you can reach out to the team, get your consultations uh, uh, appointments done with our team and they'll be happy to help you out. Okay, so this was a detailed in, uh, information on how to improve the milk supply. Next question is from Baranda Jyoti. Did tea cause decrease in breast milk supply? So tea has caffeine into added into that which causes dehydration, but one or two uh, cups of tea and small cups around 100 to 120 ml, that's perfectly fine. You can have tea or coffee once or twice in a day. That's perfectly fine. Not So I recommend not having more than that because that will cause dehydration to you. Next question is from Tejaswini. What new mom to do for getting good flow breastfeeding? To improve the flow of breastfeeding, you have to do oil massage on the breast and then warm compress Tejaswini. Next question is from Sonia. Breast milk supply low. So Sonia, I've just answered right now that how to improve the milk supply. Shreya, how to increase milk supply? Same question, my dear. Next question is from Divya. How to increase breast milk? Same question, Divya. I have just answered in detail how to improve the milk supply. If you have missed this, if you have recently joined, you can watch the recording. If you're watching from Zoom, this video will come on uh, YouTube. And if you're watching from Instagram, I'll be posting this uh, recording on this on my feed uh, very soon. Next question is from Jia Jen. Do I need to feed the baby on both the breasts during each feeding session or else one breast will outgrow another one? Is this a myth or fact? Very good question, Jia. So now let's understand whether we have to feed the baby on both the breast or is single breast is fine or do we need to switch the both the breast and how to handle all these things. So first, first feed the baby from one breast. Okay. Now, after your feeding is done, if your baby is still hungry, then just press the breast and see the color of the milk. If the color of the milk is thick white, that means your baby has not emptied that breast. You feed the baby from the same side. Okay. Now, second, second uh, scenario, you breastfeed the baby from one side and your baby is still hungry. You press the breast and see the color of the milk. If the color of the milk is thin white, translucent milk, that is whole milk. That means your breast is empty. Now shift the baby to the other breast. Okay. Third scenario, 
you breastfed the baby from one breast. Now your baby is like sufficed. You press the breast and see the color of the milk. If this is thin white, that means that breast is empty. Now your baby is not requiring milk. If next uh, feeding session the baby asks, then feed from the other breast. Fourth scenario, you breastfed the baby and the baby is happy. The baby is not wanting any other milk. You press the breast and see the color of the milk is coming thick white. That means the baby has not emptied the breast. Now the baby will ask for feed uh, in very small time. I'm very sure because the baby has not emptied the breast. In that case, just do either you can pump for five minutes or you can just hand express for two to three minutes. And this breast milk you can store at room temperature for three to four hours. Now next feeding session, the baby is asking for milk. If it is very early, within two hours baby has asked, then whatever milk you have expressed, that milk you can give. And if the baby is still asking for milk, you can take the baby on the other breast. I hope I have cleared all the four scenarios. Now the question is, mother has asked, if I have not fed from one, like I have breastfed for only from one side. So will it happen that my breast milk supply will drop from the other breast? Do I need to empty the breast all the time? So now, so again, two scenarios. If you are working on improving the milk supply, then having demand equally from both the breasts will be good. But if everything is fine, you are just maintaining your milk supply, then you don't need to breastfeed from both the breasts every time if your baby is not requiring in that case. In that case, you just alternate one feed, one feed from one side and next time feeding from the other breast. That's all. It's clear. So I hope, Jia, I have answered your question in very detail. And if anybody had this question in their mind, and it is clear. Next question is from Jilik. How increased breast milk? My baby feeds three to four times. She gets milk, but whole day she does not get milk from my breast. Okay. So uh, see, Jilik, if the baby is feeding only three to four times, still that means the baby knows how to breastfeed. You know how to breastfeed your child. Now, you just need to do it frequently on every breastfeeding session whenever the baby requires. And the more into that, I have given a detailed answer for this in just around 10-15 minutes back. You can watch this recording in detail. And if you are watching from YouTube, you will get like if you are watching on Zoom on my uh, inner community, you can watch it on YouTube. It will come either in tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And if you are watching from Instagram, you will get you will see it on my feed uh, maybe today or tomorrow, whatever it is. Okay. Next question is from Hardika. Low breast milk. So Hardika, I have answered this question in detail. Next question is from Kiran Mai. How to increase my breast milk supply as I get only drops? As I am getting only drops. So first of all, Kiran, don't worry about the quantity of breast milk. If you are even getting drops of breast milk, you can definitely, definitely improve the milk supply. Even if you are not getting drops, then also you can uh, get your improve, get increase your milk supply by following a proper protocols which which I always ask my mother or the mothers to follow and my team of doctors are also very rigid about the uh, protocols because we have seen very good results with the protocols so any of you who are watching here and they're part of the community they have taken consultations before please girls those protocols which we have given you are very important and I, that is my 14 years of work which I have done in this field and the protocols are really made very like uh, very thoughtful and if you're having any difficulties any challenges then you can talk to the doctors and they'll try to modify the protocols as per your uh, routine but sometimes you know when we are seeing that the milk supply is very low then we have to be strict on the protocols because we want results for you we don't want to linger on you for a long time we want your your journey to like uh, if you are having any kind of issues then we need we want that to be resolved as fast as possible so that's why please believe in the protocols follow the protocols and come to the doctors they'll definitely help you very well in that okay next question is from sona how to latch properly while sleeping position good question so let's talk about sideline position so latching while the sleeping position some mothers, they have doubt that my child will have any problem in the ear. So first of all, understand that during sleeping position, if you want to breastfeed your child, the only thing which you have to keep in mind, just keep the head a little up. So you can have a small pillow or a small towel just below the baby's head you can keep there. And uh, it is why because our ear stitch and tubes are connected. So that is connected from to our ear. So when the babies are flat, the, there are chances of milk going towards the ear that causes ear infection. 
Now, if you just raise head a little bit, so the milk will not go back. So that way, the chances of ear infection will not be there. So you can even uh, easily feed and confidently and uh, easily feed the baby in the sleeping position. So that way, you have to latch properly. Now, when we talk about the main point is about latching, a deep latch. Now, this is very important. Please, everyone, uh, give very good attention here so that you can understand the latching pointers. So when we latch the baby, what all things you need to keep in mind? First of all, there should be no dimpling in the uh, baby's uh, cheeks. If you are seeing the dimpling in the baby's cheeks, that means the baby is sucking air. Okay, something like so vacuum is not created. There is air the baby is sucking from the sides of the mouth. Second thing. The lower lip, this lower lip of the baby should be on the junction of areola and breast. Okay. Third thing, this chin of the baby should be touching the baby mother's breast and embedded into that. So there will be natural good compression and the breast will be flow will be good. The baby will empty the breast faster and both foam milk and hand milk will be emptied properly. Next thing is that uh, the hold, how you have to hold the baby. So now everybody, everybody, if you have to drink any liquid and if you are keeping your head like this, looking down, then just think about it. Will it be easy to gulp? If you can write in the chat box, I can I will understand. Will it be easy to gulp if you are looking down and drinking any liquid? It will be difficult to gulp. So if you have to gulp confidently, like yearly, then you have to raise your head. And if you just extend, that will be much better. So the neck will be good, like they're the extended, the baby will be able to have good gulps. Now, all of you who will be latching their babies today, just watch that the baby's head should not look down. It should be looking up. So now how to make the baby look up? When you're holding the baby, just extend the baby's head little back. So that way the chin will go inside, the nose will go away, and the baby will be latching more like easily this neck will be open okay Ma, again uh, more points about latching uh, for a deep latch yes again one thing more now everybody touch your tongue towards the upper palate so all of you will see that there is a uh, gap like there is a dome in behind your palate so if you want to have a deep latch then now, as I told you that there is a, a cave, like, like a dome kind of a thing in your lower, uh, like uh, behind the palate. So mother's nipple should go in the baby's upper palate. And how you will make sure? When you're feeding the baby, just observe your baby. If you're, you see that your nipple is pointing towards the middle of the mouth. If it's in the middle of the mouth, that means the baby is not having a deep latch. And when you extend the head, when you make the head like this, the nipple will be pointing towards the upper palate. And that is my girls, that is the correct latch. Because the nipple will become safe and secure at that point. And that way you will be able to have a deep latch. Which most of you feel that, oh it is so difficult to have a deep latch. But it is not that. It is basically that these techniques, these steps. I know nobody taught you. They just left you with motherhood. <laughs> and expecting to be a nice mother, a perfect mother. So all these things need to be learned, my girls. So don't worry if you are not knowing this. Just keep coming to me. I'll keep guiding you. I'll keep uh, helping you out. So I just want all of you to understand the basic concepts of breastfeeding, basic tips, basic skills. And once you are knowing all these things, you will be a confident mother. You will never feel that, oh, I don't have enough milk. So just main things, just work on that, girls, okay? And anything, then we are all there. I know my, uh, I know I, most of you will say that your consultations are going for three weeks. I know, but I have other team doctors also. Please don't worry. So anytime if you need to contact us, my other doctors are there. For me, little waiting is there, but that is okay because I have so got so many things right now. I'm doing so many projects. I want a lot of things to be done. So please cooperate with me. My team or other doctors are there. You can have their consultations. And for me, if you can wait for a few days, like few weeks, that is perfectly fine. Otherwise, you can keep coming in these Friday sessions. Oh, so I think I'm done with this Sonak's question. Next question is from Neha Khambu. 
low milk supply. So Neha, I already answered this question in detail. So any of you who have joined, just joined just now. So uh, I have answered this uh, commonly asked question, how to improve the milk supply, very detailed. If you are watching right now from the Zoom session from my inner community, you can watch this on uh, my YouTube channel tomorrow. And if you're watching from Instagram, you can see in my feed either today or tomorrow morning. Next question is from uh, Minakshi, no milk supply. So Minakshi, I have already answered my dear. You can just watch the recording. Next question is from Kanta. Flat chest also produces sufficient milk for baby. Yes, Kanta. So flat chest, heavy breast, big nipples, small nipples, uh, fl uh, uh, flat nipples, inverted nipples. Believe me, girls, they are these are just myth. There is nothing like you can't produce enough milk with all these conditions. Okay. So basically, this is about the technique, how you are latching your baby. So as I just told you, it is about areola. It's not about the nipple. It is always about the areola. The thicker ducts of milk are in the areola, which is the black portion around the nipple. And when we talk about uh, the nipple, nipple has got very thin vessels. So if you are putting the baby on the, only the nipple part, the baby will get very thin uh, ducts of milk in the mouth and the baby will keep feeding for long and even baby will sleep on the breast. So that's why you don't need to worry about the nipple size and shape. It is always about the areola. And thankfully, universally, all of the mothers have Areola, proper areola. So areola, everybody has it and you can latch your baby with the areola. And mind it, not the full areola, only the lower part of areola. Because I know all of you would be, I have a big areola, how to give the full areola in the baby's mouth? I understand your questions. So you don't have to give full areola in the baby's mouth, only the lower part of areola. Okay. Next question is from Kiran. Baby not latches and suckles. So that's okay if you're uh, not able to latch the baby and the baby is not suckling. So now here is one more thing. Now, if your child has been on bottle for a long time, the baby understands the bottle. How can the baby come on the breast and suckle so easily? The baby is accustomed to the bottle right now. So you need to keep patience. You need to just keep trying on the mid bottle feedings and the other feeding sessions. And if the baby is still not coming on the breast, it's okay. Your work is to just keep trying and that too not for long hours. Just for a few minutes, you try for every feeding session and then you can just pump out the milk to create the demand. So this way, keep moving and you will see suddenly if you keep trying, the baby will start coming re uh, on the breast. And recently, a 10-month-old baby came on the breast which has never latched before. So if a 10-month baby can come on the breast, then what is the problem with your small babies? So don't worry about it. Just keep moving into that. Okay. Next question is from Mrs. Akram. Baby age 6 months old is start se bottle use kar rahi, nahi kar rahi. Uh, ab baby breast pe aa sakti uh, hai. Main har feeding par try kar rahi hu. Breast pe lana ko bahut bahut baby rone rona start kar deti hai. Do week se try kar rahi hu mid bottle feeding ke. Ab baby ka breast pe aana impossible hai. Milk supply bilkul sahi hai. So first of all, Mrs. Akram, agar aap uh, ye try kara rahe ho, baby aapka 6 months ke upar hai na. So, बेटा थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखो बच्चा मेरे 6 मंथ्स का बच्चा है 6 मंथ्स से उसने बॉटल पिया है 6 महीने का टाइम आप कैसे कुछ एक हफ्ते दो हफ्ते में सोच सकते हो 6 महीने से वो बॉटल ले रही थी तो थोड़ा टाइम दो बच्चे एक 15 दिन के अंदर इतनी जल्दी मोटिवेट डीमोटिवेट मत हो तो आप बस इतना करो कि थोड़ा-थोड़ा उसको ब्रेस्ट पे ट्राई करते रहो रोने लग जाती है उसको बॉटल दे दो इट्स ओके okay. बस हर बार कराते रहो एंड स्पेशली 6 महीने के बच्चे के लिए आप उसको रात में जब वो नींद में होती है ना उस समय ट्राई किया करो या जब दिन में खेल रही होती है तब उसको बस अपने से चिपका के रखो तुम लोग क्या करते हो ना बच्चे को लेते हो सीधे ब्रश पे ले जाते हो पी 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 अरे उसको नहीं पता ना कि यहां से भी दूध पी जा पिया जा सकता है तो थोड़ा वेट करो पेशेंस रखो ना उसको धीरे-धीरे खेल-खेल में लाओ तुम लोग सोचो बस आ जाएगा नहीं पिए तो ये तो पीती नहीं ये तो पीता ही नहीं थोड़ा पेशेंस रखो भाई बच्चे ने 6 महीने से बॉटल पिया है तो थोड़ा उसको उसको भी टाइम दो दो हफ्ते में परेशान हो गए आप कि वो पीता नहीं पीती नहीं रिलैक्स रिलैक्स आप बस ट्राई करते जाओ मिल्क सप्लाई अगर आपका बहुत अच्छा है तो एटलीस्ट ये तो सेटिस्फैक्शन है ना कि मेरे बच्चे को मां का दूध मिल रहा है एटलीस्ट वो तो है ना बाकी चीजों के लिए वर्क करते जाओ हो जाएगा ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम अंजू मैम माय बेबी इज 3 एंड 1/2 इयर्स ओल्ड एंड इज एंटायरली डिपेंडेंट ऑन फार्मूला 
I started my treatment on 15th November and I initially I was getting only drops. And now if I pump the whole day, maximum I get only 6 to 7 ml per day. Okay. And uh, currently I am having lactomagic powder and Morico tablets. And dom okay, four times a day and following all the protocols given by the doctor. But after seeing very little amount of milk in each session, I am becoming demotivated. Please tell me, ma'am, if I can con con he meet my baby's demand, how long should I wait for getting good result? So, dear, your baby's three and a half years old. Relax, Anju. Three and a half year old. Still getting milk supply. From drops, now it has come to MLs. It's okay. Relax. If you have to get a lot of milk, if you have to get a lot of milk, if you have to get a lot of milk, if you have to get a lot of milk, you have to get a lot so, Anju, just relax. Right now, now you focus on immunity. Your child is getting a little bit of blood. Its immunity is good. For the rest of the milk supply, you have written the doses. It's time to increase the time to increase the time. This is our first level that we give doses. Now, when you are taking doses, when you go to the next level, the milk supply will definitely increase. So, Anju, you are contacting with our doctor. Take your next call with the doctor. And take your doses of milk. The time to increase the time to increase the milk. The doses will increase the milk. And you can do some changes in your protocols. Then, your milk supply will next improve. Okay? Okay, Anju. Next question. Anju, please answer. Anju, please answer. Anju, please answer. Can relactation possible if the mother's mother doesn't feed the baby even once? So if you have not fed the baby uh, any time, now you can improve the demand by doing pumps and by doing hand expressions. So in that way, it will help out to improve the demand and the other things which I have told. But definitely, uh, you can definitely relactate if you have not breastfed your baby even once before. Next question is from Poonam. My baby is not latching properly. He's two months old. So if your baby is just two months old, you can definitely work on that for following the latching techniques. Today I have given a detail about how to latch the baby properly. Just watch the recording again. So that way you will be able to watch the, you will be able to understand. So for recording, uh, you just, uh, uh, just go to my YouTube channel, type Dr. Tanima single there and you will see the latest video by tomorrow's, today's raw recording. If you are watching from Zoom, you will just see it tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And if you are watching from Instagram, you will see it on the feed. Tomorrow or maybe maybe today also if it gives me by today. Next question is from, let me also see from Instagram any questions because a lot of people are coming here. So next, okay, I can see one Tanima S7 joint. So there is somebody with my name also. That's great. So one of this question is uh, from Gaurav 37434. Ma'am, what to eat during first trimester? My wife feels like vomiting 24-7, but the craving for food continues. So first of all, uh, give whatever she wants to have. She can have a little amount and try to give her more of a liquid diet. So first trimester, vomiting is uh, normal. And if it is uh, like too much, you can talk to your gynecologist. They will either prescribe doxinate and that will help to just control the vomiting feeling. So it's okay. This is uh, normal during the first trimester, of, uh, first trimester of pregnancy. Next question is from Jayanti Muli. How to increase milk supply by pumping? So if you have to improve milk supply by pumping, then you have to follow a proper pumping protocols. If your baby is less than uh, three months, you should have at least eight pumps per day. If your baby is more than three months, then, then seven pumps per day at gradual intervals and pumping plus hand expressions. And uh, try to stick to the pumping protocols because that way you will be able to give a regular demand to your brain to improve the milk supply. So follow the procedures that way and the other tips which I have given on how to improve the milk supply that you can watch in the recording. Next question. Next question. Huh. My baby is 25 days old. I am not getting enough milk. Can milk supply be improved? Yes. Rashmita, it is just 25 days. Definitely it can improve. I have given a very detail in uh, today's session. You can just watch the recording. Okay, and uh, let me start questions here again. Next question is from Manasvi. My four-month-old preemie makes grunting sound while breastfeeding and unlatches herself after 20 minutes. So if you are seeing the grunting sound and the baby is four months old, there might be something called as over milk supply, maybe. Uh, because I am not knowing the status right now. But if you are seeing the grunting, 
either the baby is playful because four months baby, the baby is like distracted here and there and uh, trying to unlatch. Second thing, if there is uh, like uh, a good flow of milk or the uh, fast letdown, then the baby is not able to drink that fast letdown and then the baby starts uh, making grunting sounds. And third thing, maybe if the baby is having any cold, just check out. If the baby is making uh, such kind of grunting uh, sounds, just check out uh, whether the baby is having any cold or not. Because these days, because it is winters at most part of uh, North India. So maybe because of that, because I don't know which uh, city you are from. So Manasvi, please check that, all these three things. Next question is from uh, Bhavna. My baby is not latching and crying. When I, my baby is not latching. And crying when I sit in the chair. If I am standing, then try to feed, she latches. What is the issue here? Can you please answer this? So, Bhavna, <laughs> your baby has become very smart. The baby wants to take a good walk also and feed also. So, uh, Bhavna, first of all, what you do, here you need to just keep patience. Uh, what you do, you breastfeed the baby uh, and slowly try to sit down. As the baby makes like, like little sounds, you can just uh, like hold in a way and you can tie her around you. So that will not put a lot of pressure on your back. I can understand it is very difficult to, to walk with the baby and latch the baby. So first of all, you just tie something around you so that you don't have all the pressure on your back. So uh, holding the baby close to you, like tying it with yourself, that will help. So you can uh, wear your baby. So that is called as wearing uh, baby wearing. Just wear your baby around you. Just uh, you will see a lot of uh, tips on YouTube how to make a baby wearing on uh, with your uh, old sari, cotton sari. You can make a you can try to wear your child and then you can feed and slowly keep sitting in between. I know it will be difficult in the between, but you have to just train your child in that way and it will be okay. There is nothing like if you are sitting in the chair, you are getting better milk supply or standing with you are getting better. It is just a behavioral issue which is happening right now. Just work on that and it will be okay. मुस्कान में हिंदी में बोल सकती हूँ बिल्कुल मुझे हिंदी आती है बट हमारे पास दोनों तरीके के मदर्स रहते हैं साउथ से भी मदर्स होते हैं स्पेशली तमिलनाडु से और जिनमें उन लोगों को कई बार हिंदी नहीं आती बट इंग्लिश एक ऐसी चीज है जो कि नॉर्थ इंडियन साउथ इंडियन सबको आती है मैं बीच बीच में बोलती भी रहती हूँ क्वेश्चन जो हिंदी में आते हैं उनके मैं हिंदी में आंसर करती हूँ जो इंग्लिश में आते हैं वो इंग्लिश में करती हूँ तो आप आ, कोई डिफिकल्टी है तो आप मुझे पूछ सकते हो हिंदी में आपका क्वेश्चन आपको कोई चीज समझ में नहीं आई तो आप इसमें मुझे हिंदी में डाल दो मैं हिंदी पे आंसर कर दूंगी और जो मुझे इंग्लिश में क्वेश्चंस आते हैं वो मैं इंग्लिश में आंसर करती हूँ जो मुझे हिंदी में क्वेश्चंस आते हैं वो मैं हिंदी में आंसर करती हूँ तो अगर आपको कोई चीज समझ में नहीं आ रही तो आप हिंदी में डाल दीजिए मैं हिंदी में आंसर कर दूंगी ठीक है मुस्कान ठीक है राज शालिनी माई बेबी इज फाइव मंथ ओल्ड ही इज नॉट लाचिंग I started pumping, but before one month, I am getting around 60 ml uh, milk on each pumping, but now only in drops. How can I increase milk supply? So just a one minute before you were getting 60 ml, uh, Shalini. So you can again come back on the track. Just try to be consistent. So you were pumping before and you were all, you also know how to pump and uh, like how to get it into the proper pumping schedule. So just follow that Shalini for a few days. And if it is still not working for you, then please reach out to the team. They'll give you a proper pumping protocols and they'll tell you how to or, or, all the other things. And definitely it will again be back on track. And don't worry, the child is just five months old. You can definitely improve the milk supply even now. So don't worry. Next question is from Panpri91. Is it possible to feed twins who are 11 months old? Couldn't breastfeed much till now. How to address this, madam? So if your babies are 11 months old, yes, it will be difficult if they have never breastfed before. But you can definitely give breast milk to your kids by doing pumping for schedules and any of one, whoever can come on the breast can, you can try. But right now, I will suggest you to pump and at least give milk to your child. That you can definitely follow. So your babies are 11 months old. So now at least they would have started doing like walking or if they would have started like holding and standing. So you would be getting some time for you. Please try to pump and uh, get your milk supply back and that you can give to your kids. Next question is from Divya. How to increase breast milk? So Divya, I have answered this in detail. You can just watch the recording. 
Next question is from Shilpa. My baby is on 100% formula and is 4 months old. Is there any chance that I can breastfeed him? Yes, Shilpa, you can definitely breastfeed your child. And uh, first you work on improving the uh, milk supply that you have to start with pumping sessions by improving the demand and the supply. And slowly, once your milk starts improving, then you can get the baby on the breast and follow the tips of getting the baby from bottle towards the breast. Next question is from Smita. Baby sleeps for 4 to 5 hours at the night. Forcefully उठाने से भी नहीं उठती और pumped किया हुआ दूध भी नहीं पीती स्पून से तो स्मिता अगर आपका बच्चा रात में नहीं उठना है और वो भी forcefully उठाने से भी नहीं उठ रहा तो आप उसको क्यों ऐसा उठाना चाह रहे हो अगर आपका बच्चा 3 months plus है और रात में 4 to 5 hours सो रहा है तो that is perfectly fine इसमें आपको उठाने का जरूरत नहीं है बेबी को आप on demand feeding रख सकते हो उसको forcefully उठाने से आप उसकी रात की नींद डिस्टर्ब कर रहे हो तो वो मत करो स्मिता और दूसरी चीज आप बेबी का वेट गेन देखो अगर आपके बच्चे का वेट गेन अच्छा हो रहा है तो आप परेशान मत हो अगर लेकिन आपके बेबी का वेट गेन कम है देन आपको ये मेहनत करनी है कि आप बच्चे को उठा करके फीडिंग कराओ तो स्मिता अगर आप लाइव हो इस समय जूम पे तो आप मुझे उसमें लिखो कि आपके बच्चे का एज क्या है तो मैं आपको बेटर आंसर कर पाऊंगी और बच्चे का वेट आप मुझे लास्ट और अभी का बताओगे देन आई एल बी एबल टू हेल्प यू आउट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम स्वाति ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग लैच So, Swati, I have answered in detail about breastfeeding latch. Please watch the recording. Next question is from Kavita. My baby is one and a half months. My milk supply is good, but my baby is not getting weight. How should I increase his weight? Very good. So, if your baby is one and a half month old and if the baby is not gaining weight, your milk supply is good. That means the baby is not drinking the hind milk. So, foam milk and hind milk. Foam milk is the watery milk uh, present in the front when the milk starts flowing. And then hind milk comes in, which the color is a little thick white and it is pearly in color and uh, it has got more fat, which improves the baby's weight. So after every feeding session, you just press the color of the press the breast and see the color of the milk. If the color of the milk is thick white, then you breastfeed the baby again on the same side. If the baby is not ready to latch, you just press the breast or pump out the milk and give this milk to your child. You will definitely see the weight gain in your child. Next question is from Divya Agarwal. Low milk supply, so what can I do? Please help me. So Divya, I have uh, answered in detail about low milk supply. You can just watch this recording again. Yeah. So uh, if you are watching from YouTube, I'm repeating it again because a lot of you are coming and going. So uh, many new people are also coming in. So I'm repeating again. If you are watching from Zoom from my inner community, you can watch this uh, recording on YouTube. If you're watching from Instagram, you can watch it on my feed. Next question is from Harshada. My baby is 50 days old and I have low milk supply. So Harshida, you can definitely improve the milk supply. Watch the tips again. Otherwise, reach out to my team of doctors. They'll definitely help you. Next question is from Pallavi. My baby is four months. My milk product, no. My baby was four months. My milk production was completely stopped. How can I produce milk for my milk, for my baby? So Pallavi, again, same question is keeping coming about low milk. Please, uh, I already told because I keep listening to this question every session and every session I give a detailed answer for that. So Pallavi, please just watch this recording tomorrow or uh, I have given in detail on both latching also and on improving the milk supply also. Next question is from Richard Sharma. How to open pores of the nipple as white layers is seen on some pores. So if you are seeing some white layers, you just need to have little warm water and put little salt in that, make a saline water dip and just uh, uh, like put some more cotton into that warm water and just clean gently, slowly with the pores where you can see the white deposition is there. And uh, if you are, it is not getting removed, don't force on it. Just put that uh, uh, cotton on the, say, on the uh, white layers and slowly it will peel off. So don't worry, Richard, you can work this way out. Next question is from Sudha. How to increase breast milk supply which get lowered because of antibiotics I had during my viral fever? It's okay, Sudha, if you had antibiotics for viral fever, it's it's fine. Now you just, just start following the tips which I give for improving the milk supply. And if it is if you are finding it very difficult on improving the milk supply, then you can just reach out to the team. They'll give you a customized protocols for you and uh, you can work on it and improve the milk supply. Next question is from Nandini. 
when should we stop lactomagic powder after establish, establish, establishing exclusive breastfeeding? So first of all, Nandini, congratulations for establishing exclusive breastfeeding. Uh, I remember your name. I think you are one of our patients from my other team of doctors. So first of all, congratulations, my dear. So you have achieved exclusive breastfeeding. Now how to stop? So whatever doses right now you are in, start reducing half of spoon every feeding session. So every three days or four days, start reducing slowly. And slowly, 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 you can just remove all the um, uh, powders slowly with that. So all of the girls who are watching this, any of the medicines, if they are prescribed to you from by me or my doctors, it is not like you have to take it for a, for throughout your breastfeeding. Now, as Nandini is asking for the same, now she has ex uh, achieved exclusive breastfeeding. So the medicine doses are slowly, gradually uh, lowered down. And once they are all stopped, you will be on um, a, a natural demand and supply on your, your milk supply will keep coming with supply and demand chain. Okay. Next question is from Nilima. Low milk supply and deep latching problems. Nilima, I have answered this question in detail today. Just watch the recording. Next question is from Mehzabeen. Is it possible to breastfeed baby after four months of birth if he doesn't la lactate till now? Yes, Mehzabeen, you can definitely breastfeed your baby for four, even after four months of birth if you have never latched the baby before. Next question is from Manisha. How to increase hind milk? See, hind milk you can't increase. But you can give more hind milk to your child by seeing the color of the milk. If you are seeing the color of the milk as thick white, just express the milk and uh, by pumping or by hand expressing. And once you start seeing the um, uh, 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 foam milk or the thin milk coming, that means you have expressed all the hind milk. There is no way of improving the hind milk. Okay. Yeah, but few ways you can work like uh, by having good nutrition, having good proteins in your diet, you can definitely improve the quality of breast milk. Although I believe that it is good always for the mothers. But yes, if you are seeing that the baby is not getting weight gain even after giving hind milk, then you can definitely follow the procedures which I have given. You can have more protein in your diet, have lactomagic and more at a lower levels. So that will slowly, uh, like they will add some good nutrients, uh, some um nutrition for yourself body and replenish your nutrition and that way you will be able to improve it next question is from kusum sahu breast pump karne ke time ek same time mein na ho to isse kuch nuksan to nahi hoga kya to kusum dekhiye ek cheez hai na ki agar aap pumping mein hai pumping protocols mein hai to pumping kya hai na ek bahar se stimulus hai jo hum apne brain ko dete hain milk supply banane ke liye agar aap ek time pe kar rahe ho pump to aapke brain ko wo demand ja rahi hai उस टाइम से आप आधा घंटा इधर उधर कर लो लेकिन अगर आप एक एक दो दो घंटे पे के टाइम ड्यूरेशन पे करोगे तो पहली चीज तो आपका टोटल प्रम्पिंग का प्रोटोकॉल्स डिस्टर्ब होंगे दूसरी चीज आपका ब्रेन कंफ्यूज होगा कभी उसको कभी डिमांड आ रही है कभी उसको कभी डिमांड आ रही है तो उस केस में कोई नुकसान नहीं है लेकिन आपको जो रिजल्ट फटाफट मिलने चाहिए वो थोड़े स्लोरली मिलेंगे तो उस केस के लिए आप प्रॉपर जो टाइमिंग आपको प्रोटोकॉल्स दिए गए हैं उससे आप मैक्सिमम बस आधा घंटा इधर उधर करो इससे ज्यादा इधर उधर मत लेके जाओ ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम आथरई वन सिक्स नाइन हाउ टू गेट फ्रॉम बॉटल टू ब्रेस्ट बेबी थ्री एंड हाफ मंथ होल्ड so uh, actually i have answered this also today but let me uh, this is uh, i think i missed some points i let me just answer so if you have to shift your baby from bottle towards the breast so first of all what you do for every feeding session first try to put the baby on the breast if the baby is not coming or coming for few seconds also and then leaving then you whatever bottle you are giving to the child that you give after once the baby has taken little amount or half of the bottle remove the bottle and take the baby back to the breast okay now again if the baby is not coming on the breast you give the bottle and you have to pump your milk but keep doing this for every breastfeeding sessions slowly you will see the baby will start coming for the breast for some time just don't lose hope you need to do this persistently and regularly for every feeding session okay next question is from muskan aapka clinic kahan par hai mujhe aana hai main maharashtra pune se hu तो मुस्कान महाराष्ट्र क्लिनिक से आप यहाँ नहीं आ पाओगे मैं लखनऊ से बात कर रही हूँ लेकिन मेरे यहाँ ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन होते हैं जिसके थ्रू हम इंडिया ही नहीं इंडिया के बाहर से भी पेशेंट्स देखते हैं तो मुस्कान आप पहली बात तो ये बिल्कुल मैं सोचो कि क्लिनिक आना है महाराष्ट्र पुणे से मैं आपको लखनऊ नहीं बुला रही हूँ आप आराम से पुणे में ही अपने घर में अपने रूम में बैठ करके 
ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन मोड के थ्रू आप हमारे से कंसल्ट कर सकते हो आप मुझे डीएम कर सकते हो मैं आपको रिप्लाई कर दूंगी हमारी टीम का नंबर अदरवाइज आप मेरा नाम कहीं पे भी गूगल पे या यूट्यूब पे डालोगे वहां पे आपको नंबर्स मेरे मिल जाएंगे मेरी टीम के ठीक है बच्चे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रश्मिता माई बेबी स्लीप्स फॉर फोर टू फाइव आवर्स कंटिन्यूसली इन डे एंड नाइट बेबी गोज पॉटी ओनली वंस इन अ डे नाउ शी हैजेंट गॉन पॉटी फ्रॉम थ्री डेज शी इज ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज ओल्ड so first of all uh, for babies uh, going potty per day is not compulsory so first of all don't worry about the baby has not passed poop for 3 uh, days uh, if your baby is on exclusive breastfeeding then uh, frequent po uh, uh, poops or like pooping in 3 to 4 days or 5 days also that's perfectly fine if the baby is gaining good weight so a baby is right now 25 days old so baby should gain 200 grams per week If your baby is gaining two hundred grams per week, and if the baby is sleeping for four to, although for twenty five days old baby, I will not suggest that the baby should sleep for four to five hours. So, ah, uh, maximum three hours you can wait, two to three hours, and then if your baby is not getting up, you just give little amount of milk in by cut or by spoon and try to slowly give in the baby's mouth. That will wake up the child, and that then you can breastfeed your child back. Okay, Rashmita. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम मानसी भाटिया प्रेगनेंसी में क्या खाने से फीडिंग बढ़ा सकते हैं प्रोटीन रिच डाइट जस्ट हैव गुड प्रोटीन रिच डाइट प्रेगने मानसी आपको प्रोटीन खाना है अगर आप वेजिटेरियन हैं तो स्प्राउट्स खाइए जो भी डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स हैं मिल्क के प्रोडक्ट्स हैं जैसे दूध हो गया छेना हो गया पनीर हो गया चीज हो गया आप ये खाइए इसके अलावा जो साबुत अनाज होते हैं उनको आप अपने फूड में अपने डाइट में रेगुलरली लीजिए अगर आप नॉन वेज और सोयाबीन आप अपने एड में करिए और अगर आप नॉन वेजिटेरियन हैं तो दो एग्स आप रेगुलरली खा सकते हो बाकी हफ्ते में तीन बार आप नॉन वेज का सेवन कर सकते हैं इस तरह से आप अपना प्रोटीन इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम अनवी निर्गुड़ा निर्गुड़े माय बेबी इज नॉट टेकिंग कैल्शियम सिरप ही वॉमिट्स वॉट टू डू फॉर कैल्शियम सप्लाई so if your baby is on exclusive breastfeeding don't worry about calcium supply your baby will definitely get good amount of calcium from your breastfeeding alone next question is from uh, atrey169 is medulla cama a good option to wean off bottle as baby starts biting the nipple shield so nipple shield i will not suggest you to use because that creates an extra effort to uh, latch the baby with the nipple shield i would suggest you to have a paste bottle feeding and if you are using any kind of bottle which has a paste bottle feeding and a uh, like till the baby doesn't suckle by itself the milk will not flow so that kind of uh, bottles you can definitely use and uh, other thing is just uh, frequently feed the baby as i have just asked you at least if you want to come bring the baby from bottle towards the breast next question is from mansi bhatia because i have lot of ch challenges in breastfeeding journey so that's okay mansi i can understand your issues just follow the things which i just told you anvi nir nirgude main baby ke legs normally vitamin d deficiency and calcium deficiency dikhate hain wo sirup vomit karta hai what to do मेरे बेबी के लेग्स नॉर्मली तो बच्चे आपको अगर अपने आप ऐसा लगता है तो मैं आपको सजेस्ट करूंगी कि पहले आप अपने डॉक्टर को दिखा लीजिए क्योंकि विटामिन डी की डिफिशियंसी कैल्शियम की डिफिशियंसी ऐसे देख के नहीं पता चलती है उसके लिए प्रॉपर टेस्ट होते हैं मेरे बच्चा तो एक बार अपने डॉक्टर को पहले दिखा लो उसके बाद अगर वो कि तभी अपने बच्चे के पीछे पड़ो वो वॉमिट कर दे रहा है तो उसके पीछे पड़ी हुई हो एक बार डॉक्टर को पहले दिखा लो भाई अगर सच में उसको कोई डिफिशियंसी है तब तो उसके मतलब बेचारे को परेशान करो वरना क्यों परेशान कर रहे हो ठीक है अब तुम ऐसा करो ये पता करो अपने डॉक्टर के साथ अगर उसके बाद अगर डॉक्टर बोलते हैं हाँ ये देना है तो अगले वाले सेशन पे अगले वाले मेरे लाइव सेशन पे एक बार आना मैं उस पर कुछ टिप्स देती हूँ पहले लेकिन पता तो चले कि बच्चे को जरूरत भी है कि नहीं है कि नहीं भाई ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम शिल्पा थैंक यू मोस्ट वेलकम मानसी ठीक है बच्चे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम शिल्पा Shilpa Sena, my baby is four now four months old and it's completely on formula. Is there any hope I can give breast milk by any chance? There is no milk supply for me, only drops. Hey Shilpa, you are having drops. Come on, dear. You will definitely you can increase the milk supply. Don't worry if your child is just four months old. You at least have drops. I have many mothers who start with no supply, with zero supply. and then they start recently one of my mother she's from outside india and she just and she's a working mom she's around her baby is around 8 months she started with no milk now she's getting wetness with every breastfeeding session and now she's getting around 30 ml per day 
so for eight months babies if their mothers are not worrying so your baby is just four months shilpa don't worry come on just follow the protocols reach out to the team because four months now completely on formula don't waste time by the tips just go, reach out to the team get your consultation done and get resolve this issue fast okay next question is from pabi my baby completed 45 days breast milk is enough for now will it be increasing for four coming days will it be sufficient for next five months yes if you keep just following a demand and supply if you keep following the demand as per your baby the milk supply will definitely keep increasing don't worry about it and it is not about increasing the uh, breast milk will always the composition will keep changing so this our brain is a supercomputer it will keep changing the composition of the breast milk as your baby will keep increasing the age. So don't worry, Papi. Just trust on your body. Just have good trust and faith and be confident about yourself. You will definitely keep moving. Next question is from Swati. Breastfeeding latch. So Swati, I have answered in detail about latch. You can just watch the recording again. Next question is from uh, Mercy. Mercy says, Ma'am, I have followed your treatment. My milk supply was 30 ml every pump and the child didn't latch. Now, he is now 6 months old. Weight is 7.9. Uh, but because of some reasons, I couldn't pump and take tablet for 3 days. Now, my milk supply has dropped. Please tell me the solution. So, Mercy, first of all, the milk supply will never drop only by cause of the medicines. When you are not creating an enough demand, as you said, because of some reasons, I couldn't pump. So, if you are not able to uh, create the demand, then the brain take it as an extra milk and it starts reducing the milk supply. But mercy because you are right now in the middle of the treatment. So if you have like for any reason, if there was a break, just follow the protocols back again. And now that that time taken will not be much as it was been, it might have taken before. Now, because it has been recently. So just follow the protocols back again with the same enthusiasm. And again, the things will uh, again start following in the same way. Next question is from Anju. Ma'am, you told me to power pump for 30 minutes. I have only a single electric breast pump. Do I need to pump each breast 30 minutes? Please confirm. First of all, I never ask the mothers for pump for 30 minutes. I uh, only advise mothers to fall, uh, follow pro pumping protocols of a maximum 10, a maximum 15 minutes. But if you're talking about a, a, a power pump, then alternatively you have to do. So I usually follow the protocols of 5-5 five, five minutes. So here the 30 minutes pumping is all together. Okay. It is not like 30 minutes per breast. No. For power pumps, it is 30 minutes all together. So okay, Anju, I hope it is clear now. Next question is from Rimple Milk Supply. Already answered, my dear. Just watch the recording. Manasvi. My four-month preemie, corrected age two months, has started grunting. Well, I have already answered this question, Manasvi. Next question is from Chitra. Good evening, ma'am. I have 11 months old girl baby. Congratulations, but my dear, what is the question? Next question is from Pooja. I am not at all getting breast milk. So Pooja, just follow the protocols. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just follow the tips which I have given today for improving the milk supply. Just watch the recording. This next question is from Paja, Kajal Chitake. How to increase breast milk supply? Same thing, but yeah, I have answered this in detail in this session. Just watch the recording again because it will be difficult for me to answer same question again and again. Please watch the recording. Next question is from Sumitra. How to shorten long feeding sessions and how to increase milk flow? Mine is low milk flow and I'm taking your consultation also. So Sumitra, first of all, how to shorten long feeding session? You had uh, asked this question on Instagram also and I have made a good uh, proper video on this. So just watch on uh, Instagram. I have made a proper video on how to shorten long feeding sessions. So watch on that. How to increase milk flow for improving the milk flow. Just follow the massage and the uh, warm compressed things. Because you are in my consultation, I, have, I would have given you a proper uh, massage, uh, oil massage and uh, warm compressed protocols. Just follow that and it will improve the milk flow. Next question is from Richa Sharma. How to open pores of nipple as white layers? Already answered. Next question is from Shivangi. I want to know more about relactation. As my kid is not coming on my breast, so how can my breast milk uh, back through pumping? So Shivangi, first of all, understand the basic concept of improving milk supply is demand and supply. So if you are working on demand and supply, 
तो पंपिंग विल क्रिएट द डिमांड इफ योर बेबी इज नॉट कमिंग ऑन द ब्रेस्ट सो वंस यू स्टार्ट क्रिएटिंग प्रॉपर डिमांड योर ब्रेन विल अंडरस्टैंड द डिमांड एंड विल टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग मिल्क now once you start seeing milk you will feel more confident and that time you can follow the tips of how to bring the baby from bottle towards the breast so this way slowly 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 you will follow the proper protocols and then and uh, everybody for your attention we have lot of mothers who started with relactation and now their babies are coming on the breast so don't worry if you have your baby is not coming on the breast so how we will increase the milk supply okay Next question is from Kavita. My baby is fifty day fifty eight days old while feeding the head full sweating. Is it normal? So babies usually they are they are having very good metabolism. So that's why they feel uh, they have lot of sweating. So if you are seeing that there is lot of sweating, that is normal. Just uh, just clean it with normal with a uh, cotton cloth, and that will be sufficient. Next question is from Smita. एवरी ब्रेस्ट फीट के बाद मैं फॉर्मूला में थर्टी मिल्क थर्टी एम एल देती हूँ अभी बेबी सेवन वीक्स का है पूरा पंपिंग का प्रोटोकॉल नहीं कर पाती प्लीज सजेस्ट मी एनी अदर ऑप्शन फॉर पंपिंग एंड एक्सप्रेस एवरी ब्रेस्ट फीट के बाद करती हूँ फिर भी रिजल्ट नहीं मिल रहा है ऑयल मसाज एंड मेडिसिन ठीक से ले रही हूँ फिर भी मिल्क नहीं बढ़ रहा है ओके okay. तो इसमें तो देखो पहली चीज तो आप हर बार आपको अगर पंपिंग करने में डिफिकल्ट हो रहा है तो इसका मतलब अब आपका बच्चा ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग करने लग गया है अगर आपका बच्चा ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग करने लग गया है लेकिन आप बोल रहे हो एवरी ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग के बाद में फॉर्मूला मिल्क थर्टी एम देती हूँ तो अगर आप पहली चीज तो आपके बच्चे का वेट गेन क्या हुआ है इसमें था अगर आप मुझे ये चैट बॉक्स में लिखो कि आपका बच्चा सेवन वीक्स का है ना तो उसका टू हंड्रेड ग्राम्स पर वीक बढ़ना चाहिए तो आप बच्चे का मुझे पुराना वेट और अभी रिसेंट वेट मुझे लिख करके दो इसके अंदर फिर मैं आपको बताती हूँ कि अभी आपको इसके लिए क्या करना है ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम तिशा हाउ टू नो इफ बेबी इज फुल सो इफ योर बेबी इज रिलैक्स बेबी हैज स्लेप्ट बेबी इज गेनिंग गुड वेट देन योर बेबी इज फुल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम मिसेस अक्रम पंप किया हुआ ब्रेस्ट मिल्क कितनी देर तक स्टोर कर सकते हैं पंप किया हुआ ब्रेस्ट मिल्क आप थ्री टू फोर आवर्स रूम टेम्परेचर पे सेव कर स्टोर कर सकते हैं थ्री टू फोर आवर डेज थ्री टू फोर डेज तक आप रेफ्रिजरेटर में रख सकते हैं अगर आपको इससे ज्यादा रखना है तो आप फ्रीजर में रख सकते हैं थ्री टू फोर मंथ्स के लिए सिक्स मंथ्स की बेबी को ब्रेस्ट फीड पर ला सकते हैं जबकि वो स्टार्ट से ही पंप किया हुआ मिल्क लेती है बोतल से एक दफा भी ब्रेस्ट फीड नहीं किया है उसने ब्रेस्ट पंप ब्रेस्ट पे लाना पॉसिबल है तो मैंने मिसेज अक्रम अभी थोड़ी देर पहले इस क्वेश्चन का आंसर किया है आप उसको देख लीजिए अगर आपने वो आपने वो उससे आपका मिस हो गया है तो आप उसका आंसर देख सकते हो आप ही का क्वेश्चन मैंने आंसर किया है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम रचिता हाउ टू मेक लैचिंग इजी बाय फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर लैचिंग टेक्निक्स following the deep latching techniques and watch the today's recording i have given a good detail of how to have a deep latch next question is from sri how to open multiple pores or nipple during feeding so if uh, if you are trying to open multiple pores just try to improve your milk flow by doing oil massage on the breast and warm compress that will improve the flow and then uh, once the baby starts latching and a deep latch when the baby will have a good pressure and the milk pores will open up Next question is uh, from Swati. Breastfeeding latch. Already answered, my dear. Pooja, feed time. What is the question, my dear? Next question is from Divya. Whenever I try to breastfeed my one and a half month old baby, he bites the nipples. That leads to bleeding. He doesn't take the whole areola in the mouth for proper sucking. What should I do? First of all, if you are getting bites on breast and the baby bites the nipple, that means it is a shallow latch. So you have to work on improving the latch and watch today's video. I have given in detail on how to deep latch. Now he doesn't take the whole areola. You don't have to give whole areola in the mouth. Only lower part of areola. Okay. Next question is from Shilpa. My baby is now four months old. Completely on formula. By any chance, can I give breast milk to my baby? Yes, Shilpa. You have already answered asked this question above also. Next question is from. Uh, Next question is from Anju. How many times can we do power pumping per day? So I usually start it at two times, and then as per the results, I increase if required. Next question is from Spurti. There is no milk when I pump, but when baby latches, there is milk. Why so? Because pump is an artificial thing, artificial stimulus for the brain. If your baby is already latching, then 
If you are not seeing milk with a pump, please don't worry. If your baby is latching and there is good milk, a uh, good weight gain of your child, then definitely you have good milk supply. So, spurti. Next question is from Sri Lata. Can we do both bottle feeding and breastfeeding? Yes, you can definitely do. Next question is from Gagan. Baby never never burps after feed. So, burping, why is it necessary to just clean the air? Like to just uh, replace, displace the air. So, if your baby is farting, like if the baby is passing air from uh, below, then it is perfectly fine if the baby is not burping. Next question is from Kusum. Ma'am, my milk feed milk feed. Ma'am, I don't feed milk feed. How will my breast be put on my ma'am? So, Kusum... बेबी खुद फीड नहीं करती तो आपको ट्राई कराना है बेटा वो कैसे अपने आप पकड़ेगी उसको क्या पता है इसके बारे में आप उसको ब्रेस पे रेगुलरली लाने की कोशिश खुद करो और अगर वो नहीं आ रही है तो फिर बॉटल के बीच में ट्राई करो उस पे भी नहीं आती तो धीरे धीरे हर फीडिंग सेशन पे बस थोड़ा थोड़ा ट्राई करो धीरे धीरे आ जाएगी बेटा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम हादिया हाउ हेल्पफुल पावर पंपिंग इज हाउ मेनी टाइम्स कैन बी डू इट इन अ डे सो पावर पंपिंग ऑलवेज गिव सर्जेस इन मिल्क सप्लाई वंस द मिल्क सप्लाई हैज एस्टैब्लिश्ड so first we start with normal pumps and then slowly we add power pump into that how many times we can do we can do it twice and raise later on we can increase if it is required next question is from anuradha having cuts when baby is having milk that means it is a shallow latch just follow the latching tips today i have given in detail about a deep latch just watch the recording anuradha next question is from bhanur mai uh, after one year, I'm planning to give my baby outside milk. Should I give formula milk or animal milk? If you're giving after one, one year, you can give definitely cow milk also. Next question. Uh, just a minute. Next question is... Sumitra, but I have not getting sufficient significant results. So Sumitra, abhi ab, how many days have passed? Just let us know. If it is less than seven days, don't worry. Let seven days pass. First follow the protocols for seven days and then reach out to the team they, and have your next call and then discuss the results and accordingly they'll guide you what to do further about it, Sumitra. So don't worry if you are not getting results as such. It needs to be understood first that what is being missed. If you are following the protocols properly, then they need to be revised. If you are not following the protocols, please follow it properly. And if it is less than seven days, you just complete for seven days. Okay. Next question is from Shraddha. Hi, ma'am. How to do will deal with low milk subproduction in the evening? So in the evenings, usually it is no not low milk production. It is basically because the babies do uh, cluster feedings in the evenings. So cluster feedings are when the babies are demanding more and more milk again and again. And usually it happens, usually, usually it happens evenings. So that is nature's way of making your brain understand about the demand, more demand, and which leads to more supply of breast milk. So don't worry about the uh, cluster feedings of the babies. If the baby is doing a cluster feeding in the evening, that is perfectly fine. Uh, and this will help to improve the milk supply by improving the demand. Okay. Next question is from Sneha Jha. Ma'am, is there any health issues if we are giving both formula and breast milk? So formula milk is because it is loaded with sugars and preservatives. Then that's why it is not good for uh, babies. But if you are uh, having any kind of difficulties with breast milk, you can definitely give formula milk. Next question is from Shabana Sheikh. Ma'am, if the baby don't burp after feeds and he removes the milk from mouth, please suggest something to digest the milk of the baby. So if the baby is not burping after feeds, you can try babies may be thinking very fast and that's why the baby is vomiting. So if it is happening that way, just try to frequently feed the baby. And once the baby is like starting the session in mid of the session of the feeding, just burp the baby and then you feed the baby again. Next question is from Atrei. What is your suggestion for fixing nipple confusion? Should I move from bottle completely to glass or spoon or can it be fixed by continuing bottle? Just let me know what is the age of the baby at rate. So let me take the questions from Q&A live. Next question is from Lavanya. My baby is peeing 7 to 8 times a day. 
but not gaining weight. He is 37 days. Everyone around is saying that my milk supply is low. Please suggest me some way. I have started your 15 days treatment just two days back. So first of all, Lavanya, peeing seven to eight times doesn't, doesn't make sure that you have enough milk. If baby is peeing seven to eight times, that means and not gaining weight. That means the baby is drinking mostly full milk. The baby is not drinking hind milk. What you need to do after every feeding session, just press the breast and see the color of the milk. If the color of the milk is thin white, that means the breast has got emptied. Now shift the baby to the other breast. If you are seeing the color of the milk is thick white, that means your baby is not has not taken hind milk. Just latch the baby again on the same side. If the baby is not latching and is not ready to latch, just press or hand express the milk and give that hind milk to your baby. Your baby will definitely increase the weight. Next question is from anonymous attendee. My breast feels always empty. Why? How can we improve? So feeling empty is very different. Breast will not be always uh, tensed and engorged every time. If you are feeling them empty, but your baby is gaining weight, then don't worry about it. If you are not giving any formula milk or and your baby is gaining enough, then don't worry about your feeling of uh, emptiness in the breast. So, Atre, your baby is three and a half months old. So, Atre, see one thing. Your baby is three months, three and a half months old. Baby has got habitude right now for bottle. So, it's okay. What you need to do for nipple confusion part, uh, I have two suggestions for you. First of all, try whenever the baby is feeding in the day. First, try to put her on the breast, not directly. First, keep the baby skin to skin with you during feeding sessions. Just hold close to you. Just uh, while you're burping, hold the baby chest to, like skin to skin with you. And during feeding session, in mid of the bottle, remove the bottle and try to take her on the breast directly without nipple shield. Okay. First thing, if she cooperates with this and she comes on the breast, this is perfectly fine. Keep doing that every feeding session. If she's not coming in at the awake position, like uh, when she's awake, awake. Then what you do in the sleepy position, in the night feedings or evening sessions or nap times, that time uh, you just feed the baby with the bottle and during mid of the bottle, you just try to put the baby on the breast. Don't worry about, nip about nipple confusion for now, but just two things, bottle feeding and breast feeding. Don't come in between this uh, shields that way. Okay. Now, as you said, for fixing nipple, should I move from bottle completely to glass or spoon? Now, this... This is a difficult thing to do because the baby is already three and a half months old. If you can do it, if you can avoid the bottle completely, give it a try. Okay. If your baby starts crying a lot, then I will not suggest that. But it is worth a try. You can try doing with shifting to glass and spoon. And if it helps to that, then you can do. But be gentle. Don't make the baby cry a lot. Just try for the gentle weaning, which I just told you before. And if this is possible, that by removing completely and moving to glass or spoon is possible for you, then you can do that. Okay, Atre? Anything else you can just write down. So, next question is uh, from Gagan. Ma'am, my eight months baby never burps after feeding. How much time hind milk remains in the breast after feed? I saw left hind, hind milk. I am not pumping. So uh, it is not about how much milk will remain uh, for how long because milk production will always be there. So if hind milk is remaining and the keep the next feeding session will always be there and we'll keep mixing that way. So what I suggest if your baby, if you're seeing hind milk and baby is not ready to latch from the same breast, you can pump or hand express at that time. Okay. But since your baby is eight months old, I would not suggest you right now. Just see if your baby is taking breastfeeding and solids. That is completely fine, Gagan. You don't need to work on it if your baby is uh, not taking any formula milk. Next question, uh, Gagan. Ma'am, I also want to give feeder also to my baby. She is eight months. So, uh, uh, I don't know what is the reason why you want to give feeder. If there is any specific reason, you can let me know, Gagan. Why do you want to give feeder? Next question is from Nishat Sultana. Hello, ma'am. I started pumping and my milk got increased gradually from 0 to 60 ml in each session. But now it's not increasing to 60. It's 60 ml only. How can I increase further? And I want to directly feed my baby. He's four months old. Is it possible? So whatever you have been doing now right now, Nishat, is it right now it is on the plateau when it is not increasing further 60 ml. Now here is two things. 
either the milk supply may not be increasing, but if your form, baby's formula milk is coming down and baby's weight is increasing, that means it is perfectly fine. Your milk is like getting habitual, like change the composition is your body is changing the composition of the breast milk. So you have to first observe if your baby's formula milk is coming down regularly and baby's weight is increasing, then don't worry about the quantity of breast milk you are producing. If it is not happening, if the formula milk is not coming down, then you can work on improving the milk supply further by changing the protocols. We need to just break that plateau and increase the milk supply further. Now the second part of the question on directly feeding my baby he's four months old so today i've given a lot of times this tips or uh, tips on getting the baby from bottle to breast just wo work on that nishat next question is from gagan ma'am my appetite is very low while exclusive breastfeeding that's fine gagan just don't uh like you should not uh lose your weight and not feel like i mean losing weight in a sense that you should have a normal weight what is whatever is your height and weight just see what is your regular bmi if you are following in the normal category, then it is perfectly fine. And uh, it's fine if you are having low appetite. But if your uh, reserves are good, if you are not having any back pain, or uh, suppose if you are not having uh, any, um, like uh, you are not feeling too tired or exhausted, it's perfectly fine, Gagan. Next question is from Pooja Mulani. My baby is almost two months old. What is the feed time for her? So two months old baby should have uh, feedings at least three months gap, three, sorry, <laughs> sorry, three hours gap. And uh, in the night, the baby might sleep little more. Just see the baby's weight again. So two months baby should have 200 grams per week. If your baby is getting 200 grams per week, whatever your feeding time for her baby is perfectly fine, Pooja. Next question is from Gagan. My eight months baby is not taking feed in night, sleeping a lot at night. Eight months baby will sleep properly in the night. Gagan, please don't disturb your child. Let the child feed pro uh, sleep properly in the night. Next question is from Hadia. So happy to see you again. Even after burping, uh, my baby throws up. What can be done to avoid this? So even I'm, uh, I feel good to connect with you all again, Hadia. It's, it's a pleasure to see you all uh, in the sessions. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, even after burping, my baby throws up. What does what what can be done to avoid this? So if the baby is throwing up, just see the weight of your child, Hadia. If your baby is gaining more than whatever is required, please start reducing the uh, milk uh, uh, amount. So please let me know what you're talking about. This Is this about uh, only breastfeeding or is it about the top of feeding if you are giving, which is which the baby throws up? Please write in the Q&A box again what it is. Next question is from Sneha Jha. Uh, Ma'am, I consulted you on 22nd November and now I'm getting 20 ml per pump session. Not much uh, N latch issues are like he was not taking nipples at all. Now he's taking but in sleepy mode, not in awake. I am total frust. So first of all, Sneha, see uh, 22nd November. Today is 15 December. So come back. What is the issue? Give me a report of what happened. 22nd November is too far. 8 days there and 16, 15 days here. So this is almost three weeks. Where are you, Sneha? Come back. Come to me. Let me know what is the what are the results because now I don't remember what was the starting session when you joined when you came to me on twenty second November and what is today. So first of all, Sneha, book your next call so that I know what is the situation. Now, uh, you say that you are getting twenty ml per pump session. So now I don't know what you started, Sneha. Was it zero? Was it ten? What is what was it? So give me a proper like what, updates. What was previously? What is before? What is the age of the child? How much the baby is gaining weight? I need to understand all this. And uh, you are also saying that uh, you had latch issues. He was not taking nipples and all. Now he's taking but in sleepy mode. So at least now he has started coming on the breast. And babies, when they start coming on the breast, that means the milk supply is improving. Then what is the frustration into that, Sneha? Come on. If the baby is, is at least taking in the sleepy mode, we need to understand about the latch and we'll work on it, Sneha. Okay, so just have your call uh, scheduled so that I see what is the results. 22nd November, three weeks. Come on, Sneha. Come on. Come in the next call. I'll see what it is. Okay. Next question. Huh. Next question is from Khambu Neha. Ma'am, din me kitti bar pump karna chahiye. Abhi aap kitti bar formula de reho. कितनी बार ब्रेस्ट फीडिंग करा रहे हो 
ये सारी चीजें बताओ ना तभी तो मैं बताऊ कितनी बार पंप करना चाहिए ऐसे मैं कैसे बताऊ कितनी बार पंप करना चाहिए मेरा बच्चा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम शिल्पा बेबी ब्रेस्ट लैच ना करे तो क्या करें बेबी ब्रेस्ट लैच ना करे तो आप उसको पहले सेशन पे ट्राई करिए उस पर ना आए तो मिड बॉटल पे ट्राई करिए उस पर भी ना आए तो फिलहाल आप पंप करके एटलीस्ट मिल्क की सप्लाई को बढ़ाते रहिए इस तरह से आप हर फीडिंग सेशन पे करते जाओगे तो बच्चा लैचिंग थोड़ा थोड़ा करने लगेगा अभी जैसे मुझे स्नेहा बता रही थी कि पहले बिल्कुल नहीं करता था अभी थोड़ा नींद में आने लगा है तो इस तरह से करके आप बच्चे को थोड़ा थोड़ा ब्रेस्ट पे लाना शुरू करो एक बार आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा तो आप भी बेटर कॉन्फिडेंटली फीड करा पाओगे आज मुझे एक मदर है कहाँ से है कहीं से तो है इंडिया के बाहर से है वो मुझे बता रही थी कि मेरा बच्चा जो है वो अभी ब्रेस्ट पे थोड़ा थोड़ा आने लगा है पहले बिल्कुल भी नहीं आता था तो मैंने उससे पूछा कि ठीक है मिल्क सप्लाई का क्या इम्प्रूवमेंट है तो उसने कुछ भी लिखे नहीं रखा हुआ था फिर मैंने उसे एक एक सेशन पे पूछना शुरू किया कि इस पंप इस टाइम पे जो पंप करती है उसमें कितना आता है फिर मैंने पूरा नोट किया जब मैंने पूरा नोट किया तो उसका निकल के आया पर 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 डे वन ट्वेंटी एम उसका मिल्क प्रोडक्शन अभी हुआ है वो रिलैक्टेशन की मदर है फिर उसने मुझे बोला कि मैंने बच्चे का वेट नहीं चेक किया तो अब वेट नहीं चेक किया तो मैं फॉर्मूला मिल्क कम नहीं कर पाई अब आप सोचो अगर उसको वन ट्वेंटी एम प्रोडक्शन जीरो मिल्क से वन ट्वेंटी एम हो गया है और बच्चा अभी लैच नहीं कर रहा है तो एक रीजन ये भी तो हो सकता है कि फॉर्मूला मिल्क उसको ज्यादा दिया जा रहा हो जिसकी वजह से उसका पेट भरा हुआ है और वो ब्रेस्ट पे नहीं आना चाहता तो इसलिए शिल्पा हमको यहाँ पे बहुत सारी चीजें समझनी होती हैं कि बच्चे का वेट गेन क्या हो रहा है बच्चे को कितना फॉर्मूला दिया जा रहा है बच्चे को हम अभी हमारा मिल्क प्रोडक्शन कितना है अभी हमारे ओवरऑल सारी चीजें समझ करके हमको इसको ट्राई कराना होता है शिल्पा ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम हादिया How long do I have to take uh, lactomagic powder and the tablets? Will my milk supply be affected if I stop taking it? So first of all, uh, Hadia, you need to follow the proper protocols of the medicines which I have given. So what all time till now I have given to you? First follow that and then come back to us for improving the dosages as per the results. So first we will see the weight gain. We will see how much formula has dropped, how much milk supply has improved, and what is the weight gain of the baby. Accordingly, I will change the dosage of the medicines which we have advised to you. next when you will like milk supply be affected if i stop taking it no because first we will improve the increase the dosages and get your best feeding like uh, remove all the formula milk once the formula milk is all stopped then we will start decreasing the medicine dosages gradually so this way all the medicines will be brought back to zero and then you will continue on regular natural demand and supply okay hadia Next question is from Jasveer Kaur. My four-month-old baby does not pass the urine while wearing diapers at night, as well as without diapers and crying. Is there any problem with the baby? So, if the baby is four months and not passing the urine, please contact your pediatrician, Jasveer. Don't ask questions uh, about urine because your baby is just four months old. Not passing urine, the baby might get dehydrated. Please contact your pediatricians uh, as soon as possible. Next question is from Smita. My baby weight is three point seven kg. Birth weight is two point nine kg, and baby is seven weeks old. So seven weeks old. So we need to have seven to the fourteen one point four kg. Two point nine me one point four add karo. Kitna hua? Two point nine. Two point nine. Or ah uh, four point three. So baby ka weight to four point three hona chahiye Smita. Or tumne question kya puchha tha, bhai? Smita. स्मिता तुम्हारे क्वेश्चन क्या था क्वेश्चन तो मुझे पता ही नहीं क्वेश्चन लिखो बेटा मेरे को इतने सारे क्वेश्चंस के आंसर करके मैं भूल गई तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन क्या था तुमने ये जो लिखा है मुझे ये जो लिखा है प्लस तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन जो एक साथ लिख के मुझे भेजो तो मैं समझूंगी तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन क्या था श्वेता इन वन ब्रेस्ट हाउ मेनी मिनट शुड फीट समाइम्स टेकिंग मोर देन आर प्लीज सजेस्ट गुड क्वेश्चन सो एवरीबडी कम बैक नाउ गिव अटेंशन uh now let's understand uh why sometimes the babies feed for long and still they are hungry so something a concept of active feeding and passive feeding when you are latching the babies on the breast so suppose i am drinking water you can see the gulping in my neck so when you are feeding your babies you should see the gulping movement in their neck If they are gulping properly, that means they are doing active feeding. If they are not gulping, that means they are doing passive feeding. So, if your baby is on the breast for one hour and more and still hungry, that means your baby has been doing passive feeding. So, just make sure that you actively feed your baby. If your baby is doing passive feeding, then just remove the baby because that will only tire you 
and that will just raise the energy of your child. So this way, uh, about asking how many myths to feed, this will vary from child to child. Some babies might empty the breast on active feeding in 10 minutes. Some might take 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. So uh, about you, how many minutes? After feeding session, you just check the breast uh, milk color. And if it is uh, like, uh, uh, if you see that the breast milk color is thick white, that means the baby has not emptied the breast. The baby might feed for some more time. If you see the milk has become thin white, that means that breast is emptied by the by your baby. So you can just see uh, on the clock what is the average time your baby is taking to empty the breast. Okay. Next question is from Spurti. There is milk and my baby is on both formula and breastfeed milk. Latch is well, but when I pump hardly, I get 5 ml comes out. So, Spurti, that is perfectly fine if you are pumping less, but the baby is uh, taking properly. So, uh, as you are giving both formula and breast milk, so what you can do after every feeding session, you just, you can, like whenever you are giving formula milk to your child, whenever you are giving just formula milk, at that time, you can just pump to improve the further demand. So, you are, the, because see, your brain doesn't know that you are giving formula milk to the child. So, whatever milk production is there, the baby, the brain is like uh, relaxed that is the milk i am producing so if you have to improve the milk supply further you need to improve the demand further so whenever you are giving formula milk to your child you can just uh, pump or hand express for a few minutes that will improve the demand for your brain and the milk supply will definitely increase but if you see less milk is coming it's okay just keep doing that regularly and slowly you will start seeing that uh, the output will improve. And if it is if the output is not improving, then you see that the weight gain should be improving. If your weight gain is going more than the recommended, then you start reducing the formula milk. So don't worry about the quantity of breast milk. It is always about the weight gain. And if you are seeing weight gain is good, then accordingly you can uh, decrease the formula milk. Next question is again from Spooti. Baby is almost three and a half months old. Formula and breastfeeding latch as well. But when I pump, I have already answered here. Next question is from Nishat. Hello, ma'am. This is Nishat. I started pumping from this. I have already answered, my dear. Kushal. Hello, ma'am. Mera low milk supply ho raha hai. To kya kar sakte hai? To Kushal, uh, mene iske baare mein bohut achche se detail mein aaj kaansa kiya hai. Iska recording aap bacha dekh lo. Usse aapko bohut achche se sab mil jaye. Pata chal jayega. Next question is from Gagan. Exclusively breastfeeding giving to 8 months baby but she is very tiny and small. That's why I also want to give her feeder. So Gagan, instead of giving feeder, your baby is 8 months old. Just improve on her solids and uh, if you feel that the baby is looking very tiny and small, you can just, please, instead of feeder, please start giving her more of uh, rich solids which will improve her weight gain. Next question is... Uh... Uh -uh. from Alpen Levy. Ma'am, my baby is three weeks old and my milk supply is low. How can I increase it? I have started his formula, but I don't want it. So today, because I think you have just joined recently, so please just uh, watch this recording again. You are, you are from Instagram. You will see this on my feed either today night or tomorrow morning. You can watch the recording and you will see the uh, tips on how to improve the milk supply. Next question is from uh, Sweta. Can we give formula milk at night? Baby will cry too much at night after breastfeeding also. So, uh, okay, it's okay. What you can do in the daytime, you can pump out the milk and you can replace the formula milk in the night with the pumped milk. Next question is from Jasmeer. Mera four months ka baby night time apne ears par haath bhoat maartta hai. तो एक बार जैसे भी चेक कर लो बेटा ऐसा तो नहीं कि कान में उसको कोई इन्फेक्शन हो या कुछ हो तो एक बार जाकर के बच्चों के ईएनटी डॉक्टर को दिखा लो एक बार जो नाक कान गले वाले डॉक्टर होते हैं एक बार उनको दिखा लो अगर पीडियाट्रिक ईएनटी मिल जाए तो बहुत अच्छा है नहीं तो एक बार किसी ई डॉक्टर को दिखा लो बेटा ठीक है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम शबाना डस फॉर्मूला मिल्क ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज बेबी वेट येस फॉर्मूला मिल्क इज लोडेड विद शुगर्स एंड आर्टिफिशियल प्रिजर्वेटिव सो इट डेफिनेटली इम्प्रूव द बेबीज वेट बट दैट इज नॉट अल्दी वेट I would definitely not recommend using formula milk for increasing the weight. If you have to increase the baby's weight, then you can give more hind milk. So after every feeding session, you just press the breast and you just see the color. If the color milk is, color of the milk is thick white, express that milk and give it to your child. That is the hind milk. So I am done for today's question. It took almost one and a half hours. So we had a one and a half hour session today. So all of you can watch this recording. 
if you have joined late or uh, if you have recently joined or you have missed any part of this session, you can watch it uh, on my uh, on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram feed. Okay, girls? So take care, everyone. Have a very good night. And uh, Alp and Libby asked me again. Uh, it's a nice name, Alp and Libby. In the beginning, I used to breastfeed, but time tak feed karti thi, but still wo hungry rehta tha. To formula start karna pada. Mere ko surety nahi thi ki supply kitna hai. To tum parishan bilkul bhi mat ho bache. Bache ka weight gain dekhna hota hai. Bache ka weight gain, agar uska abhi mujhe tumhara baby ka weight ka age nahi pata kya age hai. Aapka bacha agar 3 months se kam ka hai, to uska 200 grams per week agar weight gain ho raha hai, to formula dene ka zarurat nahi hai beta. Thik hai? Okay, so I could have, I have saw some hearts on my screen. Thank you so much, girls. So, for giving me some beautiful hearts on the screen. So, I think I am done for today's questions. Kaise pata lage ka supply thik hai ki nahi? Baby ka weight gain low beta ji. Ato kal le na. Thank you for that heart again. So, tum log ye heart dekha ke na, mera dimaag दूसरी तरफ कर देते हो, so मैं इसको आंसर कर रही थी इंस्टाग्राम पे हाँ, तो कैसे पता चलेगा मिल सप्लाई ठीक है कि नहीं, तो मिल सप्लाई का कैसे पता चलेगा बच्चे का वेट देखो, अगर आपका बच्चा थ्री मंथ्स का कम का है, उसका वन वीक का वेट देखो, अगर उसका वेट वेट टू हंड्रेड ग्राम्स के ऊपर है, तो बिल्क उससे भी दिक्कत आ रहा है तो टीम को पहुंचो और वो लोग आपको अच्छे से बताएंगे मेरी टीम में तीन लैक्टेशन डॉक्टर्स और हैं वो आपको अच्छे से गाइड करेंगे एक लैच एक्सपर्ट भी है अगर आपको सिर्फ लैचिंग का इश्यू है तो आप लैच एक्सपर्ट से बात कर सकते हो रोता रहता है फीड के बाद तो यस वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड की अगर uh, सिर्फ रोता रहता है अगर हर फीडिंग के बाद देन ऑफकोर्स इसमें देखना पड़ेगा लेकिन तब भी मैं बोलती हूँ कि पहले एक बार बच्चे का वेट चेक करो फिर उसके बाद आ, हमको समझ में आएगा कि मिल्क सप्लाई इशू है भी या नहीं ठीक है ओके गर्ल्स टेक केयर बाय बाय गुड नाइट